I, I'm George Lake. I'm a professor at the University of Zurich. Um, at the University of Zurich, we have several faculty who are interested in dark matter and galaxy formation. Most of the universe is dark. It's made of a mysterious matter that we don't yet understand. But it has a lot of consequences for how galaxies form and how things move in our galaxy today. What we're interested in, in the University of Zurich is just these problems. We want to know where the dark matter is. We've discovered that it's in lots of little lumps, and these lumps even get into the disk of our galaxy and are close to this, our sun in the Milky Way. And um, we want to know how it is that we can detect this dark matter and what its consequences are for how galaxies form and take the beautiful shapes that we see in the photos, the lovely spirals and ellipticals, and, um, and, and how they come together and form clusters of galaxies. You are here now at Supercomputing 11. Uh, why are you visiting this exhibit? Well, I've been involved in supercomputing for many, many years. Um, I was once the uh, chief scientist for a large NASA program. I was the chief scientist for a supercomputer center. And indeed, when I was chief scientist for the NASA program, it was during the time that we built the Beowulf clusters. And originally, Beowulf was a um, gigaflop workstation. The idea was it was a personal machine that sat by your desk. And I was the first to say, workstation, heck, I'm going to build a server. And so we built the first Beowulf outside of Goddard Space Flight Center. We used deck alphas, and we replaced our very, very expensive silicon graphics server with it. If you compare your situa situation as scientist in Switzerland with the HPC system we have in Switzerland to your colleagues uh, in the USA, what is the difference? Uh, do we have some advantages in Switzerland? Oh, I think Switzerland just has so many advantages across the board. It's a very special place. It's one that's committed to science. It's one that currently is not um, in the deep throes of recession of most of the world. And so it can continue its commitment to science. So our facilities are superb. Our support is superb. And the notion that that support is long-term and constant is there. It's a very, very stable environment to be working in. And it's one where we can count on growth of resources and we can count on the backing of the university, the canton, and the federal government. It's absolutely essential for us to figure out uh, the nonlinear consequences of a very simple initial theory for the universe and how the matter is distributed. So we, we use supercomputing to see how the dark matter influences the universe and how ultimately we might detect what it is. Um, that the, the, the general environment in Switzerland also has a very balanced investment. We have our, our supercomputer center that's a national one in, in the Ticino, and the university has its own cluster. Um, that there's currently good investment in research groups to develop the next generation software to use the next generation systems. It is, um, it's a confluence of things that the US has tried to achieve for many years and the Swiss have, have gotten to. Thank you, George Lake, for visiting us at Computing. Great, thank you.